Love them shut, correct. What's going on, Refuelers? Jake Adams here, and uh, I've had just the most excellent adventure here in Taiwan. And uh, the trip is uh, about to come to a close, but I saved one of the best locations for last. So I am here with Mr. Vincent Wong of BP Corals, and uh, we are going to take a look at uh, a couple of his tanks. I'm going to do this video in two parts. So if you want to make sure not to miss the second part, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when the next video is uploaded because you definitely won't want to miss it. Okay, so this tank has about 1,000 liters in it and it has a sizable sum and a big frack tank, um, some familiar lighting and equipment, um, but at least one cool electronic box that I want to show you because I've never seen anything like it and it's really cool. So, let's get started. Thank you for holding that, Vincent. No problem, We're gonna introduce Vincent, the boss here. Say hi, Vincent. Hi, sorry, everyone. <laughs> I can speak English just uh, good enough to communicate. No worries. Okay, thank you. So, this is an SBS aquarium here at VP Corals. I really, really dig the aquascape because there's almost no live rock inside this tank but it is packed to the brim with a ton of frags, a ton of SPS corals, and it has the lighting regime to support it as well. So you'll, you'll notice that the rock is a bunch of uh, branching live rock, and it's very fitting substrate for a bunch of acroporas and SPS corals. And uh, yeah, it's really, really great because it produces, uh, it doesn't block any of the water flow, and it's very, very clean. As you can see here, we'll give you a couple couple zooms out of the entire tank. And uh, this tank's been set up for how long? About four years. About four years. Right. This tank's been going for four years. Um, Vincent is definitely a collector. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna give a, an overview of the equipment, and then I'm gonna take a sneak peek at a variety of the different corals. So to begin, this is, like we said, a thousand liter aquarium. Looks like we have uh, two large propeller pumps on both sides. I'm gonna guess that's the conch aqua pump on one side and uh, probably four or five G bows uh, spread throughout the edges. You can see it has very substantial water flow, lots of water movement in this tank. Very, very critical uh, feature for SPS aquariums. The aquarium is lit uh, actually by two metal halides. There's two 400 watt of radium metal halides, which are on for only several hours. And then a uh, generous amount of T5 lights, uh, basically flanking both sides of this metal halide fixture. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Oh yeah, there we go. And just a couple LED strips. So there's a lot of UV lighting provided for this particular aquarium. And uh, for, here's the overflow. We've got a, a lot of bio balls going on down the drain here. And uh, down below is a simple Berlin style reef sump. So very clean, very open, uh, lots of water volume. Got some basic mechanical filtration here. Uh, a large needle wheel protein skimmer. This thing is cranking and as you can see, it is pulling out quite a bunch of funk. Now on the other end, we have, um, what do we have here? We got two return pumps. One of them uh, looks to be feeding, are they both feeding the tank? Both pumps coming up to the tank? Okay, uh, so both of these pumps are returning water. We've got three part dosing here being fed by a peristaltic dosing pump tucked in back there. And uh, one of the things that I really wanted to show you is this really interesting uh, power control panel. Now I've actually never seen anything like this before, but uh, BP Corals has several of them installed on their aquariums. And this controls everything? Yeah, controls everything. Everything is tied back into here. Looks like we have uh, four different uh, digital timers. And this one actually happens to be open so I can take a peek inside. Well, look at all that wiring. This is such a project. It's got its own fuse box and um, a lot of electrical, electrical wiring connections. So this is a very, very interesting control panel. I haven't seen anything like this, but it sure does blow away 
our strip lights. So before we come back to the main display, I do want to mention that there is a, a specialty frag tank in line with this aquarium and Mr. Wong really, really loves his rainbow chalice corals. Look at all that color right there. Vincent uh, definitely has a knack for sourcing some very exotic echinophilia strains. Uh, this tank is, I'm gonna guess, about a foot deep, two feet to, to two feet long, maybe three feet long by three feet wide. And uh, it's got a lot of frags in there. And this tank is lit primarily, or almost, yeah, primarily with the T5 lighting with a few LED strips inside. So we're gonna take a close look now at the SPS tank, because I know you guys are dying to uh, get a better look at what is inside this aquarium. So in closing, the SBS tank uh, here at VP Corals is truly, truly magnificent. The aquascape is really something to behold. And uh, before you guys go asking, I made sure to find out how this tank is maintained. And I'm really glad I asked because it has some very unique qualities. So like I said earlier in the video, this is a 1,000 liter aquarium. And um, since we're pretty close to the ocean here, uh, naturally seawater is actually very affordable. So they change uh, nearly 100% of the volume of this aquarium almost uh, every two weeks. So about every 10 days, a thousand liters of water is changed from this aquarium. But uh, in the meantime, there's a regular addition of calcium, buffer, and magnesium. The corals are fed about once a week. Uh, the photo period is uh, surprisingly kind of short. Uh, the T5 and LEDs are on for about eight hours. Meanwhile, the metal halides are on for four hours every day. So this is a very uh, unique way to take care of this particular reef tank. I really hope you enjoyed this feature. I've uh, definitely been going at it for quite a while today and during this whole trip. So if you enjoy this video, please uh, hit that thumbs up button, share it with your fellow SPS heads, and um, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button because uh, the next tank I'm going to show you here from VP Corals has is the antithesis, the opposite of an SPS tank. It's a full-on LPS tank that takes uh, definitely uh, after my style of organizing corals, and you definitely won't want to miss it. So thank you to everybody for tuning in. Thank you to Vincent for having me so late after hours here at the shop, and I will catch you guys on the next video.